Does your NES console play games but have these weird lines displaying when it does? Mine too. Let's see if we can fix that. So I released a video about fixing a super dirty NES copy of Tetris a few weeks ago, and when I was testing that cartridge, I got these weird lines displaying on my console. If you're interested, you can watch that video right here, but I originally thought it may have been the cartridge causing the problems. I swapped the consoles, and it turned out the cartridge was completely fine. So fast forward to now, and we are going to see if we can find out what is causing that specific issue. I have several different copies of Mario Duck Hunt that I'm trying here just to make sure it wasn't something with a specific cartridge. And interestingly enough, when you select Mario, the start screen looks all jumbled up with artifacts all over the place like this. I removed the cart a few times and reset the console, but it was still doing it, and it was doing it consistently. That tells me it's got to be a problem with the console but I just wanted to rule it out. The weird part is all the controls work and the games still function too. I guess this makes sense since these are known working copies of Mario that I've tested in the past, but still very odd to see with this specific console. What's even more odd is the fact that the game plays pretty well. The sound works and the game plays how it should, except for the random lines displaying on the screen, of course. I did some independent research before opening up the console to see if anybody else had had a similar issue, and there seems to be some conflicting theories on what could be causing this. Some say it's the lockout chip, others say it's the cords not having proper shielding, which degrades the signal coming into the TV, but one last theory was an issue with the 72 pin connector, like a short or some other problem with it. The funny thing is I've already opened this unit and cleaned the 72 pin and made sure it was in great shape because I was going to be using this console as a tester. If you need a tutorial on how to do that, I have another video explaining the entire process right here. Now this was done several years ago and I'm testing some really nasty cartridges sometimes, so it's entirely possible that it could be dirty or dusty and that's what's causing the issue. But let's find out. I won't go through the whole entire process of explaining how to open an NES because I'm assuming anybody who is watching this has probably already done that before. But just know that it's a lot of screws and it just takes a little time to crack it open. Maybe I should remove my tape notes on the bottom of the console since we were working on it. And second thought, maybe I'll just leave it there just in case I can't figure this out. So the first thing I'm noticing is the cartridge carriage is a bit dirty. I know it wasn't like that the first time I opened it up, so I'm sure that's from sitting at my testing station for a few years just gathering dust. I'll clean that up later. I'm looking for any shorts or other odd things that pop out in a really quick look first. The main board is pretty dusty, but other than that it looks pretty good. The pins are a little tarnished, but that shouldn't be causing the weird lines, should it? Let's take a look at the connector. The pins still look pretty good, maybe a little bit more dust on them, but no corrosion or other problems like that. But, oh, what is that? I've never seen that happen before. I'm gonna guess that that's our culprit right there. It looks like this pin was forced out of place somehow, and maybe it shorted itself out on another pin right next to it? I'm gonna see if popping that back in place will fix our issue. It wasn't easy, but it also wasn't hard to pop it back in place either, so it's still under some tension inside the connector. When looking close up in the connector, I didn't see anything touching, but that doesn't mean it wasn't. Probably was, but I wonder how that even happened to begin with. I'm going to do a quick cleanup of the 72 pins since I have it out. The pins all appear to be in the right locations where they contact the game cartridges nicely too, but I'll do another quick bend of each pin just to see if they move around or move out of place at all. I'm wondering if I could replicate the problem at all with the tweezers, but I don't know if that's going to be possible since this was pushed out rather than wiggled.
The main board pins don't appear to have much buildup on them at all, but I still got a little bit off of each of them. Most of the dust was just surface stuff on the main board. I also wiped down the carriage just to prevent more dust from getting inside the unit. Let's put a few of these screws back in and test it to see what we get. And fingers crossed, look at that. Pretty easy fix, but let's try out the game to make sure it all works. And it's looking good. I'm gonna button up the system properly and give it another test once it's all back together, just to make sure. <laughs> I won't be needing this anymore. I should have just been more confident in the beginning. Well, everything seems like it's working great, so I hope this helped you with one of your fixes too. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next fix.